we will be creating another widening joint today. We're going to be creating a tone groove. So this is probably used for when you're putting panels together. So say things in door panels, or it's also used in predominantly in flooring. Okay, so the way we're going to do that, we're going to do create design just like we had before. We're going to choose that bottom plane, two point rectangle, and I'm going to go 140 or 90, sorry, mils wide and 140 mils long. Finish my sketch there, select my area, and I'm going to extrude this by 19. My job there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to zoom into one of my sides, create new sketch. I'm going to go two point. I'm going to go my line tool. Getting ahead of myself there, and I'm just going to come down by five mils into that there. And then making sure those construction lines are on, and I'm going to come up 5 mils. Because this is 19 mils thick, we should have about 9 mils in here. And I'm going to create a little alcove. So I'm going to turn these construction lines off now, all the way to the end. That should be 140 wide by 9. I'm going to go enter, finish that sketch, and I've got this little pocket here. Now this groove, I'm going to let it come out by about 15 mils. So I want to extrude 1, 5. And that's the tongue of the tongue and groove joint. Now I'm going to save this in types of joints again. So tongue and groove. Part 1. I'm going to open up a new design. Go new sketch. Click on the bottom plane, two point rectangle. It's going to be the same dimensions, 90 wide by 140 high. Finish the sketch. Extrude by 19 mils. Enter. Going to go to the edge again, or go to the side, sorry. Line tool, turn those construction lines on. Five mils down here. 5 mils up, 2 point rectangle, turn the construction lines off, and join them both, should be 140 by 9, enter, finish the sketch, select this area, and we're going to extrude it, but it's going to be a minus this time, it's going to be minus 1, 5, because we pulled out that last one by 15. As we can see, it goes internally into our material. I'm going to save this one as tongue and groove joint part two. And I need to open a new design up to be able to get all my drawings in there, which is going to be completed. Tongue and groove joint. Enter. Open up my panel. Got tongue and groove joint part one. Insert. Just want to rotate this around and make it a little bit easier on myself a little bit later. Enter. Tongue and groove part two. Insert in the current design. So as you can see, it's on top of each other, so I'm just going to zoom out. And also, it's on the wrong side, so I'm just going to have to rotate it around by 180 degrees. I'm just going to put it there. One thing I forgot to do was to ground my first one. So I'm going to ground that one now, so that means it won't move. So I can't move it, whereas I can move this one because it's not ground. What I'm going to do is show the easiest method to be able to get these joints. I'm going to choose this edge, hold shift, click on this edge. Go join, and we go into, and that's how we get them together. You can see tongue and groove. Save that one. 